And welcome back to this special edition of Hannity. We are live at the anti-tax tea party here at the Georgia State Capitol. Now, this is just one of the many tea parties across the country and across the nation as people vent their anger over raising taxes, skyrocketing debt, and socialism. And we go now to the Tax Day Tea Party in Birmingham, Alabama, to check in with the host of the nationally syndicated Rick and Bubba show, Rick Burgess and Bill Bubba. Hey, boys, how are you? How about it? Sean, as you can see, we have five to six thousand people uh, right outside of Birmingham, Alabama at Veterans Park. And as you can hear and read the signs, it's like we're seeing all over the country. Hey, people have had enough. They've had enough. We've had enough, Sean. We've had enough. No, I can hear. All right, now, wait a minute. Rick, Rick and Bubba, guys, their crowd's saying USA louder. I think we could do it a little bit louder here in Georgia. No way. No so. way. No. USA. <laughs> Sean, right. how does it feel to be yeah. on the ground floor of something so good? You know, I, I, I'm going to answer that question because you can ask me. I am energized. I am motivated. I am inspired by every single person that has come out, not just not just here in Atlanta, but Birmingham and New York and South Carolina and all across the country because Americans are letting their opinions be known. Now, by the way, Paul Begala, Paul Begala took shots at us and he said we were wimpy and he said we were whiny. We had the, we had the NBC Obama network where their anchors have tingly feelings up and down their leg. They were complaining that people actually have a different opinion than that of their anointed one that they helped elect as president as, their, as they serve as his press secretary. So uh, I'm very inspired well, you know, by the Sean, people the key, here to answer. The key here is it is the United States of America, and it's not the United Kingdom of America. And people here have just had enough. Our tax yep. code is over 60,000 pages. The guy who's supposed to be working us through this mess can't even do his own taxes. What does that tell you? There is time for Great change, point. and it is now. It's time for a revolution. Well, I got to tell you, it's that. And, you know, it is not the United States of Obama either. Well, yeah, you know, and and I know people, that every, you know, every time. Go, go ahead, Rick. Uh, you know, when we talk about we the people, you know, Obama, sure, he, he is the president, but you know what? Congress are the people who pass the, the legislation that continues continues to spend and to ask for more. It's time to fire Congress and start all over. We, I mean, let's get rid of them. Obama can't do anything if we have a Congress that won't go along with it. And, Sean, the message is very simple. We want to reform the tax code, make it simple, make it fair, and then we want government to quit spending money that, that it belongs to our grandkids. They're running the printing press, and you don't have to know anything more than eighth grade civics and math to realize if they print $1.2 trillion, throw it in the economy, that means the money that we've worked hard for is worth less. Uh, that, that, listen, guys, that's, that's a dead-on point. And I'm going to tell you one other thing. When did we ever get to a point of America where we're nearly where the point where 50% of Americans don't pay anything in for taxes? Nothing. Now, the latest numbers out are just astounding how much that, that the, the very few top taxpayers actually pay. I mean, I feel like these yeah. taxpayers are disenfranchised. I want them to have a well, share of the burden just like they wanted a share of the vote. Every, let me tell you, everybody in America, we have to have a stake in it. There's not one person here that doesn't mind paying for national security and national defense. We don't mind paying for our roads. But I'll tell you this, these congressmen that build their power by using the hard-earned money of the contractors and the hard-working people of Georgia and Birmingham and New York and all around the country, that's when it becomes abusive. And that's where I think well, Neil Bortz was right. Tonight has got to be the start, and we've got to continue this from the days and the weeks and the months to come. Everybody on board? All right. Yeah, it's got to be tonight. It's got to be a beginning, not an end. And, Sean, all right. we, we have challenged 
We have challenged everybody tonight to take up the cause and run for city councils, run for uh, county commissions, run for the state That'll houses work. and run for Congress and pledge to lower our taxes and right, quit Rick. spending money they don't have. All right, Rick and Bubba. Ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, this has become an anthem song for this day, and it's shutting Detroit down. He's a friend, he's a patriot, he's a great American. John Rich, country music superstar, is going to play that next, straight here from Atlanta. God bless America. Glad you're with us. Parties shake the country and Americans take to the streets of the Capitol. Is the government listening? And what comes next? Greta has powerful coverage live from D.C. Termites cause more.